Hey dolls, happy new year and welcome to my new money nail tutorial number 12, the first for the new year. First, we're going to look through some bills, okay? <laughs> yes, new money nails. So another thing, I want y'all to comment below, do you think I'm working with real money or not? Nah? <laughs> but anyways, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you some things. I usually don't do a voiceover on my acrylic nail tutorials, but I'm going to be popping in just to tell you a few techniques that I'm using in this video. So right here, I'm just picking up glitters that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm adding it with my brush, and I'm just adding it on top of the acrylic that's already kind of wet. Now I'm just overlaying it and making sure that I have everything fully covered. And of course, as y'all know, I'm using Mia Secret Acrylic, which is my favorite so far. And here, I'm just going back in with a different type of glitter that I also got from Dollar Tree. I'm just experimenting. Most of the time when I do my nail tutorials, I kind of wing it. I might have some inspiration from, from things that I find online and on Pinterest, on Instagram, but I do my own thing. And right here, I'm just going ahead and doing more acrylic. And this part, I wanted to do, this is what made me want to do the voiceover. Now, as you see right here, this was my first attempt to do an inlay with this dollar that I'm using. Is it real or not? Nah? <laughs> and um, I'm just doing an overlay. This was my first attempt. I was trying to lay it down with just acrylic alone, but it wasn't that easy. I was having difficulties. And as you can see, I'm trying to push down the corners like with my nail and with my brush. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to do this again. So this was my first try doing an inlay using acrylic only. And I got it to work, but it wasn't my favorite method. So you're going to see me do this another way coming up. <laughs> So now I got a little smart and I'm using the nail glue to go ahead and glue the back and put it on top of the nail. And that works so much easier. And so right here as you can see I glued it and I'm just going over with acrylic. Now one thing that I want to say is I recorded this tutorial on two different days two completely different days so if I had if I was using gel I would have tried that method but at this point I wasn't using my gel supplies And I know on some of these parts my liquid to powder ratio is kind of um, more on the watery side. But I was doing that on purpose because I didn't want to use it too thick and cover up my um, inlays. And here I'm just filing the corners. Right here I'm using my white pigmented acrylic from Me Secret again. Product links are in the description below. I have a whole nother tutorial that I did um, actually reviewing this white acrylic that I'm going to be posting. And here I'm doing the same thing, adding some more white acrylic. The white acrylic is a little bit more liquid than the regular acrylic, or at least how I've been mixing it, even when I kept the brush in there for a little while. But again, I'm still getting used to working with this, but I love it. I absolutely love my colored acrylics.
And right here, I'm just going ahead and I'm following my edges. So I went ahead and did the other methods with these. I just didn't do it on camera, so I'm showing you how I did the rest of the nails. And I'm covering them all with clear Mia Secret acrylic. I really had fun with this because this was my first time doing an acrylic inlay and I've been wanting to do it. Anybody who knows me personally <laughs> knows that I love me some money. <laughs> so I started with the money. But like I said, is it real or no? Comment below. <laughs> Let me know what you think. But I must add, I like clean money. Clean money, okay? All money ain't good money. But yes, you can call me Mrs. New Money. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. I, um, <laughs> I don't do voiceovers often. And it's funny y'all, like, I got kind of some funky stuff going on with the acrylic in this tutorial because I swear, I was, like, really experimenting. I had a whole bunch of acrylic powders and all kind of stuff popping. I was using, like, two different acrylic brushes. All kind of stuff was going on, so forgive me. And right here you can see that I'm putting clear nail polish over it, but that's because I didn't finish the tutorial in the same day, so I still had to look decent. But, um... I didn't need to do this step like if I did it all at one time I wouldn't even have needed to do this step and you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a few but if you don't have gel and you're not gonna do what I'm gonna do in the latter half of this video this is a way to do it and you can see that it still looks good with just the clear regular polish this is not gel polish this is just regular um, this is Big Top Coat by Sally Henson, I believe. And so you can see, even if you don't have the gel and you wanted to stop at this point before I add the bling, it looks pretty doggone good. But what is nails without bling? Y'all know that I love me some bling. So this is when I came to finish up the tutorial. Um, I was just trying to add more depth to this nail to get it in because I'm about to go ahead and add my white powdered acrylic to this nail. So I'm basically just finishing the job. And before I did this part, I did remove um, the top layer of the clear coat with my drill. And if you don't know about my drill, I use the Bell drill and I'm still in love. I'm going to put the description below to my drill as well. I think I did pretty good for my first French manicure try. And right here, I'm just adding different polishes. Um, I was experimenting, but I did finally get it right to how I wanted it to look. So, you're going to see the finished look. But I'm adding these polishes as a base because I intend to add stones. And I wanted it, my final look to look as blinged out as possible, so I'm using like shimmery and glittery polishes as the backdrop. And right here I just covered that whole piece with the nail polish because I didn't like how it looked alone. I'm adding this pearly white because I wanted it to be more um, opaque and not translucent. And I'm trying my best not to make a big old mess, but, you know, you can always clean as you go. I was undecided about this silver, but I decided to add it because I really wanted something to cover that one to make it look more pretty. Because I thought I didn't like how it was looking without that. 
And now I'm adding another glitter that I got from Dollar General on top of what I already laid. Just to make it as glittery as possible before I add my nail stone. So now I have my nail stone stick and I'm applying this with uh, a gel brush that I got from Nailite.com. Absolutely in love. This is how I will be applying my stones from now often. I will have all the product links in the description below. Shout out to Nailite. Now I'm adding a high gloss tackless sealer on top. And this is just a little strategy that I learned about. I'm going to do another tutorial on this. And I'm adding my stones. Now what you're going to notice is I added some big stones and some small stones. But I didn't like how it looked. So I ended up removing this whole layer and doing a new one. But it's fine because I still wanted y'all to see how I was applying the stones. I love this way more than the super glue method because it's just so much faster. And you don't have to worry about doing one piece at a time. And it's just so much neater. So as you can see, if you pay close attention, I ended up changing out the stones. And right here, I'm doing the same thing, just adding a little to give it some shimmer. But on my middle finger, I had already redid the layer. That's why it looks a little differently than it would have. You probably wouldn't even have noticed that if I didn't open my big chompers. In here, I'm just adding the big stones down the middle. And then I'm going to add the little stones around. And one thing that I wanted to know is that in between each finger, I'm doing a flash care under the LED uh, UV light for like 5 to 10 seconds. And then when I was completely finished, I went ahead and cured the whole thing for 60 seconds. So these are my final looks. And I hope that you enjoyed this new money, new year tutorial. I'm absolutely in love. I'm about getting ready for a photo shoot. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. I love y'all, and I hope you have the best 2018 ever, okay? <laughs> Peace.